so you just hit the like the fall rush and now it's all we're recording uh hey everybody and welcome to the november northampton open media board of directors meeting thanks everybody for being here we're here in in lovely uh northampton high <laughs> <laughs> basement basement <laughs> <laughs> um and i'm uh, about to screen share oh but before i do that let's do the relational check-in the first thing on our agenda um it was brought to my attention the turkey day is next week i could have sworn we had another week before thanksgiving <laughs> and now i'm sweating because i oh geez it's the month is just going by so fast <laughs> Uh, what are people doing? Anybody have any good plans? Nice family things? Bad family things? <laughs> <laughs> Go to the Berkshires, like always. Nice. Uh, my family puts on something up there. Uh, Thanksgiving is my favorite American holiday. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I already <laughs> mentioned it before. It's uh, we're in friends, uh, with friends in, in Long Meadow. Yeah. Why, why is it your favorite? Because it's like Christmas where everyone spends time together without all the expectations. Oh, the friends. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so you're on the there's wallet, no, yeah. There's no Thanksgiving season where everyone has, goes yeah. crazy with decoration and yeah. so on. There's yeah. like, it's uncomplicated, but it's still, if you if you leave behind the the, the historic ballast about the <laughs> oh, holiday, yeah. it's, uh, it's, everyone is just coming together and enjoying a meal together. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to slightly revise my my question. Favorite Thanksgiving dish? Stuffing. Sure. Okay. Mm, that's too specific. Uh, food in general. Uh, oh. <laughs> I think I... I don't have childhood memories, which well, that's <laughs> fair. Yeah, yeah. So, so if you're doing anything fun and favorite dish, um, I'm just I'm going with family in Pennsylvania. Um, sweet potatoes for sure. Oh yeah, All sweet potatoes. Excellent choice. Um, we're probably going to be in Maine. We were going to actually volunteer for Thanksgiving this year and have friends over on Friday, but um, I think uh, we're going to head up and see Kathy's dad in Maine, and then. My favorite dish? I don't know. Like, I don't love turkey, but we cook perennial sometimes. Oh. And that was really, really good. Perennial? What's that? It's like a pork shoulder. It's a Puerto Rican style pork shoulder. Oh, really? You yeah. inject it with like cumin and garlic. Oh, this stuff. It's like, and it, the, the skin gets really crispy. And it's like, oh. Nice. Nice. So uh <laughs> i love that we recorded this part too this is yeah no <laughs> this is this all is the important minutes, baby. this is the this is a relational check-in it. it's officially part of the meeting <laughs> um yeah gosh we're um my so my aunt and my mom alternate but i greatly prefer my mother's cooking they oh they alternate um thanksgiving and christmas this every year my official end i know <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry betty sorry um <laughs> your sister cooks better than you um but uh but yeah it's um uh so i'm really excited for like all the food but specifically i'm a big i'm a big mashed potato boy i'm i'm really into mashed potatoes <laughs> like especially you get get some get some garlic in there Oof. oh is tim here it's, it's a thanksgiving thing. miracle it sounds like your uh <laughs> your superhero <laughs> <laughs> alter ego mashed <laughs> potato boy <laughs> hey well, hey I sent you an email. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I sent me an email. Yeah, well. Quick, favorite Thanksgiving food? Uh, of course. Uh, uh pecan pie. Got yeah. Pie. Oh, that's a good one. Fried. Fried. Dude, that's pretty fast. Of course, I don't like doing them a weak limp crust. They gotta be. You know. <laughs> we also have that on on record as well too because we're recording. So. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> it's good. in the good. official so sanctioned minutes. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay. The relational check-in is over. I'm going to start screen sharing the um, agenda now. Uh, well, we should have a call to order. Oh, we didn't have a call to order. No. I'm sorry. I forgot. Okay. Gosh. Huh? I'm calling this meeting to order. I did the welcome and I forgot to include that. <laughs> it's meeting of the Northampton Open Media Board of Directors. Well, at least the only thing that wasn't official was the relationship building. Okay. 
Um, I need to not see participants because I like some space. And then I need to screen share of my second monitor. Okie dokie. Over here? No, over here. Yeah, no, no. Okay. Um, all right. Let's talk about the next meeting. Um, does the annual meeting count as the next meeting? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've we've scheduled board meetings at the end before the annual meeting before. No, yeah, no, that's fine. but um, because it it's not really a board meeting. Um, so we will uh be looking at early December. Al will not be with us, right? I will be. Uh, I can be attending from Spain because oh. when we get to talking about the budget. Um, oh, you'll kind of need to be. Yeah, right? okay. I mean, unless you wanted to have it in a couple of weeks, like uh. I don't know if that's going to work. I mean, did we want to try to do the budget before crowdsourced? Um, or you could do it on the 28th. Or we could do it before crowdsourced, I guess, if we wanted to. It's a little tight. Yeah, it's a little tight. It's tight and it's never worked. To, like, it's Yeah, because yeah. that's why we had we planned this one, because we knew it was going to be tight for, for that. So do, if you're cool with doing it virtually. Yeah, that's what that's what I was uh, figuring. OK. Um, you know, this this time is fine. It'll be a little late for me, and so in where I am, it'll be around midnight. But I can still be available to meet at that time. Okay. All right. Or go a little earlier if you had space to do that. I don't know if you know, we can meet at five. Um, it can be tough for me traveling, but yeah. I can give it a shot. Well, it's, I, it'll be a Zoom meeting though. Oh well, I assumed we would be in the room. Oh, you would be on okay. Zoom. But we could all be on Zoom, and then it would be very easy for me. But uh, but I figured if we're going to be discussing, yep. and you leave the room for that part anyway, that's true. we can just mute ourselves. Well, we'd actually, when we go into executive session, we don't record that, right? No. So, so yeah, that actually works perfectly. So we could just stop the call, and then you're totally gone. No worries about you overhearing anything. So you have very good ear hearing so over here from Spain. <laughs> but um but yeah okay so do we want to do early december we'd be in person now would be virtual is that cool with everybody mm -hmm. yeah, okay no, i'm at work till five so okay I mean, I so get here at, i couldn't get here possibly earlier than five I'm, well i couldn't get here at five okay yeah. so we'd probably be looking at six again yeah unless you know what i can just stay at work and just log on from there oh my god <laughs> <laughs> kill you though, yeah, you know? I mean, but I would like. I mean, I'm only an I'm in office, so. Not but I, think I can make it work. It, it would be good to have you in the room for our conversations uh, because just because the budget stuff, you yeah. Challenge everything all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that was one time. <laughs> Forever. Uh, okay. No, I think, like I think it's better to like this is a no, totally because it's either all on Zoom or all on. It's Twitch. it's a complex topic, so I think having us all in the room it's would be preferable. Six o'clock on the twelfth. Oh yeah, so that's the next thing I was going to ask. The twelfth or. I guess we could do a little earlier in the month. We don't really want to do later in the month. Uh, yeah. If I should be in the room, it has to be the week before. I'm I'm flying out on the eleventh. So. Oh yeah, because you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Same time. No, I'm, I'm I'm you have five hours time difference, or is it six hours too? I don't um, know. I'm in Austria. So the fifth would be the previous Tuesday, or we could try for a different day of the week. The fifth is a uh, is um first look at. The 33 Holly space. Oh, I haven't opened that email yet. <laughs> the board to attend that. Okay, so maybe not the fifth. So the fifth is probably not a good day. Okay. Um, any other days within that week? So fourth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Okay. How do people feel? Six, seven, eight on my end. Yeah, I think I should be flexible enough to do any of those currently. Um, seventh. Okay. Two, fourth, or seventh. Okay, so Thursday, seventh, six p.m. 33 Holly Street? Oh, no, or not 33 Holly Street. Whatever the address is of the high school? 380 Elm. That one. So, that's the question. If, if if Holly Street is already open on the 5th, get the region Holly Street? Or is it? Um, That's just a first look. I don't assume we could actually hold a meeting there. Um, 
Yeah, it's just about uh I could give someone a key. Actually, no, because you're you're zooming in. I'd rather do it here okay. because I'm more familiar with the, the tech setup. Um okay. and you're an integral part of the of the tech. <laughs> But uh, certainly in the new year, we can look into into that. Hmm. It's tricky because it's the day staff's not here. Though I could have Isley come in and let that y'all in. Okay, let's say that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Oh, does, can Jeremy get a key? Because he's anyway on the premises. Oh. I could mm. give him my key. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That works. All right, so uh, the 7th of December, a Thursday at 6 p.m. I will be virtual. We will be in person. It'll be at the high school, and we will figure out a key situation. Seven. Great. Oh, I should put that on my calendar. That's yeah. Mm -hmm. December 7th. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Okay, next agenda item. Uh, we are approving the October minutes. Here they are. There's one edit I need to make to them, which is that we are not at the Academy. Um, Did I comment anything further down? Let's find out. Yes. Um, oh, this was a little bit ambiguous, I think. <laughs> and I'm just like, feel free to put it in. <laughs> like, do it yourself. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I understand what this conversation was about because we were discussing. So yeah, I put the due term, term grandfathered in. Mm -hmm. I, I put it in there. Cool. But that clears it up, I assume. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's good protocol, you know, like we do, if we have some amendment or something, just put it into a different color, then make a note that we've changed totally you find, that you found something. Um, in terms of other stuff, uh, just to really briefly go through, we had a director's report and we sort of went back and forth with Al talking about some different things in depth, more in depth with it, uh, which was a fun conversation. That was cool. Uh, we had a great high school report. Uh, we talked about the term limit stuff. We had an update for the nominating committee with all of our uh, our four our four finalists. Um, talked about board expansion. Talked about conflict of interest. Uh, text trying to figure out. Um, we talked about we talked about the audit setup and uh, talked about the annual meeting. But uh, yeah, anybody notice anything else weird oh. in the in the minutes from last time? Don't assume so. Say they seem pretty good to me, other than the, that, those two little things. Oh, could you go all the way to the top? Sure. Oh, yeah, it's good. Never mind. Good. Yeah. Okay. Move a motion. Um, to one thing approve August minutes. Because it's a copy. Why does it say November? It says oh, next, it's the next meeting. November. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. I right, move a motion to approve the. October minutes. Second. All those in favor of approving the October minutes, raise your hand or say aye. Aye. Yes. All right. <laughs> approved. <Good line. laughs> We're all good. I'll just go back. And then we are going to review the tasks document. Blah, blah, blah. I added a task for myself. <laughs> I just gave myself extra work.
Um, yeah, that, that's a side comment for the task list. Like if we, if you write the minutes, if you, I don't know if it should be you or if, it, like, if it's too much that to add the tasks here as well, if there's anything, the outcome. I also added something here, hmm. which is pretty self-explanatory, but that we don't have to go through the minutes to, to know. Like I put, I think, yours in Jeremy, the conflict of interest rule for bylaws. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. to have it in there and stuff like that, that we, that if there's an uh, any any task generated, that we have it here. Okay. Um. So more linking of those of those two documents would be helpful. But um. But yeah. Okay. So uh, fundraiser meeting with employees. I actually did that. I did it. I talked to both the employees. We had a we had brief but nice conversation about it. Um, oh, what else is hat was supposed to happen? Are you talking about the fundraiser later on, or is there any? Not in this meeting, but I'm getting feedback from them so that can go forward with fundraiser planning with staff input. Oh, you get feed, they will write yeah. you something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, so, so yeah, uh, let's see here. What else was supposed to happen today? We have stuff about board source. Do we have anything about board source? We don't. Okay. Nothing on board source yet. Okay. Uh, the, the present of board recruiting is done. Yeah. Okay. Um, conflict, conflict of interest rule for bylaws we're kind of waiting on board source for that aren't we that's kind of like part yeah, yeah. tied to it okay um florian i got in contact with them they i don't know her name claire something like the the the, the, the social coordinator she changed she's she's in the progress of getting people mm -hmm. uh we had some a little bit back and forth but i think we'll get some recommendations from them and we can look into this okay Cool. Um, so do we want that to be ongoing? Uh, ongoing, yeah. Uh, all right. Um, what's December 5th about? That's what I added. That's the oh, first look. The email, I still have it open, but yeah, say so that I, I'm going to. Um, <laughs> so I put it in here because people were um, signing up for when they were going to go be at events to volunteer. Oh, yeah. So I don't have anyone assigned to it because I'm going to talk about it later, but I just put it in here as a placeholder. Sure, that's great. Well, we'll talk about it later, but I can probably be there. Mm -hmm. um, and then I assigned a thing to myself, which is the board policy document, which we did a bunch of great work on in the last workshop. Um, that document obviously still has a bunch of notes in it. So I want to take all the finalized text that we decided on from it, transfer it, like make it look pretty and put it in a PDF. So then these two new board members that are coming on, we can just give it to them and be like, hey, these are this is the stuff about the board. So I'm going to try and do that before the annual meeting. But I mean, I don't really, well, let's see, people, the election voting is for the day after the annual meeting. So as soon as we know who those new people are, that's when I'd ideally like to give them the document, right? So they can have as much time to review before their term actually starts in the new year as possible. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can have it done, cleaned up by the annual meeting. It actually shouldn't be too hard. Flex my graphic design muscles. Make it look nice. But yeah, okay. So anything, I don't assume we wanna add anything. I mean, aside from, from your thing, we'll talk about, late, talk about later, but uh, yeah. Board policy doc or the board action tracking doc looking good to everybody. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Well, let's go back to the agenda. It's time for the director's report, which hold on. There it is. All right. Mm -hmm. So probably the biggest news is Dave Newland is going to be leaving. So no. <laughs> um, this is a huge loss. Um, and it's a sad day. Um, Dave's been an unbelievable employee. He's been here for about 12 years, but he got offered a really, really amazing opportunity. Um, and I'm really happy for him, um, even though I wish he'd stay for another 10 years. Um, <laughs> so, <clears throat> you know, he's going to be um, making great money. He's going to be working mostly from home. Um, it's it's a terrific opportunity. And, and um, you know, I'm not, not shocked in the least he's taken it. So um, we leave on exceptional terms. And he's open to being in a support position for us as we go through the transition to find the new, whoever is the next version of Dave. Um, I, I'm gonna begin the hiring process before I leave um, and start getting in applications. 
um, so that we can interview after the new year and bring someone in as soon as possible. Um, and I'm trying to take Dave out for a special dinner uh, before he leaves. Um, I don't know if that'll happen before um, I leave because of timing. So I might do that in 2024. Sure. Um, given the schedule. Um, so, so th that's, that's the big story. Um, we'll probably be saying no to some things in January or early January, February in the first quarter of, of 2024 because of this, um, which isn't a problem. It gives us some room to actually think about uh, sort of, uh, I think, what we want to prioritize moving forward. Um, I think there's some stuff programmatically we've had for a long time. We've talked about revising it and looking at it a little bit, and this might be a nice period for us to do so. Are you still planning to do the Arts Night Out? We're still planning on doing the Arts Night Out. Okay. Yep. Well, we were going to try and have board there anyway, but now maybe we can just help a little more with it. So yeah. Be, yeah. yeah, that'd be great. <clears throat> um, on December 5th, from 4 to 6 p.m., we'll, we'll be a first look event for the opening of the newly renovated building at 33 Holly Street. Um, Dave is planning on attending. Isley cannot attend. I cannot attend. And it would be great if as many board members as possible were there. It's going to be um, large funders of the building um, in terms of, you know, meaning fiscal dollars and also boards from all of the organization and staff from all of the organization. And it would be a nice time for people to just to connect to people that we work with and also to rep what we do to those people as well. Um, and also not terribly to those funders as well. Yeah. Um, one, one question. Yeah. Um, how how large of donuts? It's <laughs> a large donuts. <laughs> this event will bring together large donuts. <laughs> Still working on the donuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just starting to <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm definitely going now. Extremely large donuts. Yeah. <laughs> Large donuts in the building. <laughs> what kind? <laughs> Come on, director. They leave us hanging. They Boston cream. What's going on? Uh, maple <laughs> bacon. Ooh. Um. So um, there's free wine and snacks, but I don't know if there's any donuts actually. Oh. Uh, um. So I sent you all invitations to that email invitations, and there's an RSVP with that too. So um, they love it if people RSVP. <laughs> Uh, if you can't do that, um, then shame on you. Uh, <laughs> I, sh I should be able to go, so I... Yeah, yeah, I can, I can, I can go to that. Um, I think I said four to six, but it's actually five to seven, so I'm going to change that up here. Oh, that's much better. Oh, okay. yeah, five to seven. I can check it out. Cool. How am I going to appear? An entrance? <laughs> so, JW, <laughs> TL... Uh, out. I'm going to roll in in the large donut. Yeah. <laughs> I thought everyone was coming as done. <laughs> you show up in a, in a Homer Simpson costume. <laughs> 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 um, the operating budget for 2024 is completed, and I'll have a copy of it to the board shortly. Um, we're not going to be presenting it to the night, and the reason is our accountants were in process of finishing our 2022 990 taxes in form PC, which I they delivered to me today, actually. Florian and I have been working on recoding our accounting system. And if I implemented these changes now, um, it would retroactively change the data formats for the accountants as they were working on that. Oh. So, so if you change it in QuickBooks, I believe it changes all of the past accounts as well. The trouble with a living document. So um, after this week, I'll recode our system and get budgets to the board, and we can approve that budget remotely in December. Okay, cool. Um, I was planning on attending the ACM Northeast Regional Conference this week, but given um, my impending travel and, and everything going on at the station, I canceled the conference um, to fo focus on more NOM work, um, which is a relief, actually. Um, I will be attending tomorrow the Western Mass Work and Digital Equity sum Summit. Excuse me, that's at HCC. There's $5 million at least coming into Western Mass for digital equity work in the next few years from federal and state sources. And I think we may be positioned to acquire some of that with work that is at worst adjacent to what we already do. Uh, Mary Alice Krim agreed to be honored at the upcoming annual meeting. There's a, there's a, there's a note later in the agenda, so I, I'm not going to dwell on this. Um, just that we should figure out how, or the board should figure out how 
um, she's going to be honored and aware of it. I'll week. cover this in the, yeah. in oh, the okay. agenda list. Um, we committed to covering the monthly meetings of the commission to investigate racialized harms in Northampton. Um, it's going to be, it's on a schedule to complete its work by October of next year. These are monthly meetings. They're going to be happening in city council chambers. Um, they won't represent like uh, the kind of work it would take to do uh, something in the school committee room. Um, so we're going to be doing those. Uh, they had the first one already and then the, um, there was some scheduling issues with it. So we're, we're starting our coverage in December. Um, we have a recording of that first one. Um, speaking of the school committee room, we've been told that delivery is imminent for all the equipment for that room. And we've been waiting for that for a very long time. It's a huge amount of work to hold for us as staff to cover meetings in that room. And it has been for the last year. So we're really excited about um, that nearing the end. Comcast informed me that the ongoing issue with our backcharge internet account will be resolved fully in our favor. So we should be ending up, up with a $1,500 credit instead of a $6,000 debit. So that felt really good to finally hear that. Yeah, because you've been working on that forever. I've been working on that forever. You wouldn't let it go. I had so many phone calls. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to be um, completely, completely correct, and our account will reflect that. So. Nice. All that hard work. C congratulations. Thanks. It was a moral victory. <laughs> Um, we covered the Pulaski Parade this last month, Rag Shag Parade, a veteran show with Steve Connor, multiple shoots with Downtown Daniels, Pioneer Valley Access Show. He's stumping to deliver that nationally, meaning he's traveling around the country, talking to centers to, to show it. Um, the candidates debate, special council meetings about public comment. You may or may not know, but there was a, a Zoom bombing of a city council meeting recently with some anti-Semitic um, and racist as well um, language that hasn't happened in a long time. And so the city had a special meeting to meet with uh, legal representation just to talk about how they can sort of um, format the meetings and policy in the meetings to try to prevent that. Yeah, I thought Zoom implemented all sorts of measures to stop people from bombing stuff. So I'm surprised somebody was able to, right? Yeah, I think it's just a matter of like, I know one solution for instance is just asking people to, um, to, sign up for comment and be verified as who they are before they comment online or some people don't allow online comments mm -hmm. um cambridge which is one city they cited was you know you know their policy is you have to actually have verification of uh, residency you have to go through and get like permission in order to get the link for commenting mm -hmm. so i think zoom implemented a bunch of stuff uh, some of that i think is just about how public links are yeah mm -hmm. and so um you know these are these are people who are uh, you know, they're not really self-identified uh, during the meeting. And I think probably there's some degree of the council also just being relaxed because nothing has happened for them. Mm -hmm. um, we also covered a presentation about the alternate downtown development plan that some business owners have been pitching. And we've got a bunch of stuff next month, including the Young at Heart show, the annual meeting, the hot chocolate run. A series of Mount Holyoke student projects. These are pretty interesting. We're bringing in at Mount Holyoke students and we're going to do a, um, a class with them on some studio camera production, just a very brief overview, and then shoot some um, <coughs> projects that they're doing on the history of public access TV. And then, of course, first. Cool. Um, I they, watched they the. They've really been the lead of all of those projects, or. Yeah. We've been talking about them. Yeah, it'll be. Yeah. When is the hot chocolate one? That's on the third. third. You're running, you said. <laughs> and a donut got to that. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to work it there. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Oh, what was the exact time of the hot chocolate run? Do you remember? Does anybody remember? Because I put it in my calendar as an all-day event because I didn't yet have the time for it when I first put it in. But now I'm like, nice. oh, when is it? I should have had that. It's in the it, morning. I mean, we start at 6 a.m., but that's not what it starts. Well, I'm not going to be here then. Uh, <laughs> starts at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. That's very good. So, the, well, that's what the, the event date is. I don't know when the actual No, I think, I think that is. Here. There's a, And that's the probably the firing gun for the run part. Then the walk is a little bit, starts a little bit later. Okay. Isn't the walk first? No, the walk first. Oh, the walk is first. The walk is first. I think that one is like at 10 o'clock. The run. Yeah, and the, the the professional run is the last. Right. 
Um, are we talking about hot chocolate run? Like, are we setting anything up? Like we said, we try to be there. Yeah, we have a table. We have table space that'll be there. I'm going to have materials for people to talk about Patreon. Yep. Uh, then we, the board members, will be sitting at that table, handing out those materials. There's basically a, a section. I don't know. If, you know, there's a section where they're, they're up for tabling. You've mm -hmm. probably seen it if you've attended the run. Do we have any information brochures about what Gnome is doing? Yeah, that's what I'm going to have for you. That's what, okay. Yeah. When cool. was this created? I'm in the middle of creating right yeah. now. <laughs> right now. Yep. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I watched um, some of the the Rag Shack Parade recording. That, you yeah. did. that was fun. Cool. Was fun. I always thought, I always think the Rag Shack Parade is a fun thing. Yeah. So it's good to watch it. Um, all right. Uh, ta -ta. Uh, okay, up next we have the high school report. Yeah. Um, so, firstly, a, uh, a group that I'm a part of, Youth for Equity in Action, YEA, on November 30th, we are hosting a photo voice exhibit uh, in the school library at 615. And we're basically just presenting um, some findings from a uh, youth-led research project about uh, youth health in the community. Um, and we were contacted by a Gazette reporter about kind of covering that event, doing a story on us. And we met and we decided that we didn't want to really involve the Gazette in that because they could have almost like they could have spun the story to be something like, oh, the teenagers at the school are having worse and worse mental health, which is not the angle we want. So we wanted to uh, reach out to NOM to see if they wanted to uh, potentially be at that event um, and provide some sort of coverage for that event. Um, Radium Girls, the school play, was last week, I believe. Um, it was fully recorded um, and sent to the theater director to edit together. Can I text? Yeah, I did. I just uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. You're good. Um, <laughs> And that is mostly for archival purposes, um, not for like uh, publishing it on YouTube or Vimeo, um, but just to have. Uh, now that the transcript has access to the bank account, um, we're looking at some gear to buy on Black Friday. Just one question, why yeah. why don't you publish it in some way? Um, that was just the theater director's decision. Um, I'm not sure entirely. Primarily copyright. Oh, yeah, you can't. Oh, yeah. You can't publish. Plans. Probably a copyright. You have to issue. pay a lot of money to. Uh, um, oh, even yeah. if it goes into a gnome stuff or something like that. Uh, I mean, I don't think it was it covered with gnome stuff. Nope, it was with the school gear. No, no, I'm school, just yeah. I, like, could you publish it on the gnome YouTube oh, no. site? We had there's a the our most famous story about this was the uh, Clockwork Orange. <laughs> Oh, uh, I think we talked about that sometimes. Yeah, later. yeah, yeah. You can't. You have to pay when you when the school has to buy the rights for plays for the performance rights, mm -hmm. and then there's different. There's other rights, yeah, synchronization yeah. rights, mm -hmm. which they would need to buy in order to put it on television, or you know, to take a recording of it and distribute it. Yeah, yeah. And okay. so that's much more expensive than schools have to do. Yeah. And the other part is legwork, like. We were asked a few days before to, or actually two, the, one day before the, the, the day actual, of the performance, the day of the performance to, 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 to record it. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and so, well, it's probably actually excellent because Elias was doing that with, with people, but um, it becomes something where we don't have the capacity to kind of go and get the the, the rights, nor did the, the yeah. people that are in charge of the time putting in the legwork. Mm -hmm. So we do this as basically an offering for students that are making reels and things like that, mm -hmm. as well as, you know, for production reel purposes and also for acting reel purposes. So the kids have stuff to. Okay. It was actually one of our main cameras, the wide angle was out of focus for the entire thing. <laughs> um, throw. Well, good on, on you folks for d d still doing it, pulling it together yeah, with yeah. that short notice. Wow. <laughs> um, so we have a budget around $7,000. Um, some of the gear that we're looking at right now is three replacement uh, Canon SL3s, two additional Canon SL3s, um, an additional drone, uh, a replacement battery grip for our uh, Ronin stabilizers, um, 
a few LED panel lights and fluid head tripods, as well as some other miscellaneous gear, um, crew t-shirts, um, food, etc. cetera. Um, a student of the high school, uh, Rose Bennett, over the over this weekend filmed a music video I'm sorry i have to be curious again yeah. uh, about the drone uh how is this managed with 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 permission of flying the drone we actually fly in areas in which well, it's a low and it's in a out of thing. areas where you don't we, do it commercially so we don't do it commercially it's a well. weight thing if the drone is um, light enough you don't have to register it is it under the two? okay and yeah and it's like the, the mavic mini is like commercial yeah. drone or like it's the drone that is under the weight limit um, so you can fly it without and a we, license. And we the prosumer option. Exactly. Yeah. We've also we've also had conversations with the police department and things like that because they've seen us flying it. So it is definitely the drone police. <laughs> <laughs> he saw my pictures. He's like, "What field are you in? You flying?" Out of this? Yeah, I was like, "No, I'm at this." <laughs> Curious because of that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah the student of Jeremy's problem. filmed a music video over the weekend using NOM gear. Um, use those, the Canon X, XF605s. Um, I helped out with that production a little bit. It went smoothly, it was really fun. Um, and now it is in post-production. Um, Rachel Maddow, we were supposed to interview her and then she got COVID and Oof. her whole show got postponed. Um, but finally, tomorrow, we are interviewing her nice. yeah. uh, at the Academy of Music, yeah. which is very, very exciting. Um, looking forward to that. And then musical, the auditions for the musical are this week, today, tomorrow, and Thursday. Um, and the musical is Freaky Friday. Oh, that's fun. Disney dude. special. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, so for the YEA uh, photo voice exhibit, mm -hmm. um, would, so I know you want, uh, non to do some coverage of it, but would you like board members just to be there and support? Yeah, I think that'd be incredible. I, we really want to have, I mean, I know that. Um, wants to be more present in the community um, and we want as many like community members to be present there. Cool. So uh, remind me what time it is. Uh, yeah, it's on the 30th. It is okay. Either 6.15 or 6.30 to okay. uh, 7.45 or 8. What's the, uh, what is the exhibit like? Is it? Uh... So yeah, it's based off um, <clears throat> this thing that happened God, two years ago now. Um, YPAR, which is Youth Participatory Action Research, and Photo Voice is this, it's a, it's a research process of taking photos that are, that's responding to a certain prompt or prompts, and then sitting down and discussing and analyzing those photos. Um, so we'll have like nice printouts of the photos and we'll have members buy them and it'll be like, like an open discussion is kind of what we're going for. Oh, and this is at the high school. Uh, yes, the library. Great. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's maybe something we can add, like uh, a tab in the in the task. Oh uh, yeah, to to see who wants to to go to it. Did we have an event task that we also know that the details that everything is written there? No, I would actually make a second tab where we have oh. all the meetings. We want to be present, and then okay, can, I, I can yes. do this, okay. but I don't want to do it right now. Yeah, if, <laughs> um, you can give me the task. I, I it's something there. Sure, I just want to put this in here real quick so I don't forget. Um, and you tab. You tab. Um, great. Anything else? That does it. Cool. We'll okay. talk about coverage. Yeah. All right. Nice. Oh, let's go back to this. So board sort source alternative. We're not talking about that, Just right? Until December. Okay, cool. Postponed. It's time to talk about the board expansion, everybody. Florian has put together notes for us, and we're gonna look at them. This is it, right? The draft. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the one. So I'm just gonna link. That's great. Yeah, this is anyway just a, a, a. I I looked at what's in there, and there's we still have a lot of original 
but like when, when there Noah definitely was, is some original text in there still. Formed yes. in there and mm -hmm. I tried to clean this out a little bit and I, I don't know how you looked at it. Um, in, in a nutshell, besides this cleanup and I, I split it up a little bit, mm -hmm. um, my proposal would be uh, to keep things simpler, that we increase the elected uh, board directors by two, which would increase the overall number to nine. And every year, like the term stays three years, and every year two positions are up for vote. I see. I had thought you would increase, you wanted one more elected and one more appointed. That was out of the conversation. I don't know if that makes it easier. I, we can also do that, that which is confused. Like it's nice to have two, two, two. That was the, was the reason. I don't know if we need, we, yeah. So you're like, you're like, if, if there is more, uh, the, if it makes things easier that we nominate someone as the board, which reduces then the need for election, but we still have an election every year. So it's not, and then it's a question. I, I don't know if it makes a difference. Um, so aside from the, the math that sort of d didn't make sense, as, as you may have seen from my comment. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Three directors, one, number one, one by school committee, two number one by the board itself. Oh, the okay, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one, yeah. The, the the one is one. The, oh, okay. Um, the number in the bracket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know if uh, in the end it, it doesn't make administratively much of a difference. Is it better to have two board directors uh, voted in by the by the 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 problem or the problem that the, the challenge is this board is very very uh, diplomatic let's say like that um so it doesn't make too much of a difference everyone is on the same yeah uh, when no, it totally. becomes more conflict or and if should it become more a conflict on the board then this might be a different dynamic but then the dynamic is anyway different so i don't know hmm. um I'm yeah right. so j just to cover that first um how do people feel about um, two positions being added and them specifically being elected positions. Um, I will say this will sort of the, the same thing that I brought up last time, which is just my concern of like, there is more interest in the board now, which is awesome. So currently I don't see a problem filling those positions. But historically, there has been less interest. So can we continue to keep those positions filled? That's the big question and my my big hesitation on it. Um, but uh, that might be something we can add that we say uh, that the, the desired strength is nine with those <laughs> six elected positions and minimum, we need to fill a minimum of for elected positions okay. or something is that, like that. Does that make sense as a, as a bylaw thing? I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that in other bylaws that you have a range. So you could say seven to nine directors is the size of the board. Mm. And I that, do like that lets you elect two more if you want. Yeah, so and, I like that. Like yeah. if we have seven and we're going to nine. So is it, is it nine? I mean, you're yeah. trying to get up to nine? It's six elected and three appointed. Yeah, so total of so, so nine. Yep. So okay. in total, it's not. It would be nine. Yeah. It would add to yeah. the question. Yeah, like it gets weird if you go if you get stuck at eight, maybe. Right. Like like That's true. Uh, so you could do something like. But what's the main problem? Like the, the decision votes, so the president might get a a vote, that like a decides. Yeah, I mean, as long as you have a, I'm just saying, like you, you as long as you have a way out of that. Otherwise. Yeah. You could also, if it's the majority and you have eight, it just means you need six votes mm. out of those eight, yeah. right? Or five votes out five of those eight. Out. You can't, yeah, four doesn't work. Yeah. But whatever, I don't think that's a big deal. I I've seen it before. So yeah, I, I like the idea of having a range. I think that's a, a great compromise in terms of like, okay, cool. Now we get to welcome more people in and have a bigger board. But if in the future times are leaner, we're not. You know, in violation of files. We just, yeah, the quorum rule we have to fulfill and maybe. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. cool. Uh, I like that a lot. Um, and we're cool with the, the the additional positions being elected rather than splitting them between an elected and an appointed. I mean, I'm fine with that, but 
I mean, you could. What if, yeah. um, like, like you said, let's like we get stuck at four. You know what I mean, or something like that. And it, you know, okay. like we need an odd number. How about some, you know, like a point in like, you know, the person for the sake of, you know, that odd number or whatever. You could do something where I think I think oh, the important yeah. thing in the spirit of what the design here was is that there's more elected positions than sure. appointed positions mm -hmm. so that the balance of power isn't in, in <clears throat> the appointed positions but you could do something where you said that there has to be more elected positions than appointed positions and then your range could be you know you could be five and four you could appoint a fourth if the board wanted to it's getting a little complicated it now. becomes very complicated yeah. because yeah. if someone drops out do you have yeah. to get rid of an elected position yeah, 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 like, yeah. I wouldn't. yeah it gets yeah i mean so well, right, right but but having having a voting threshold thing where it's like okay you need to have yeah. um uh you can't i don't know some kind of rule about how like if you have an even number of board members votes are going to have to work differently Okay, or that you just was have to have that, right? that was a good yeah. first draft. No, rewrite it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, maybe I don't know. Mm -hmm. I I don't I don't know about things like that, but I just know what feels right and what makes sense to me is probably something like it. But if they're already on the board and one drops out, that's I don't see it as a problem of like, um, well, we ended up with more um appointed positions but that would that because that wasn't the goal like somebody just had to drop out or somebody dropped out you know so i mean the next position would probably have to be an elected you know yeah know, because because the, they'll be up for for re-election right right and right, the idea yeah. is yeah you have those minimum number of elected positions so by the time the next election cycle comes around you're right. assuming you're going to replenish those and then you have more elected positions again um so yeah i think yeah, I think it should be should be all right. What was what's the conclusion now? Are you you okay with six elect, elected or do you? Yeah, I think I it? think have well we 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 build it in so it's a range, but we have both of the additional positions be elected. Be elected, okay. Yeah, like the only I guess the only advantage of having uh, an appointed one by the board is that it's more flexible and easier. Yeah. Do we need that because of the situation with the board? Like I don't the fact that we already have a board board appointed position makes me think we probably don't. And the fact that we have really good relations with the mayor. So we can go to the mayor and be like, hey, we'd really love a student representative. And then they're I'm gonna I'm, I'm open to that. <laughs> um so yeah, no, I'm I'm cool with with that. So um the next thing. I'm gonna say I'm not cool. Um, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not like upset about it or anything. But uh, appointed directors shall serve shall be uh, two years. Ter I'm sorry. Appointed directors' terms shall be two years in length. Elected directors' terms shall be three years in length. Directors shall be elected or appointed to serve up to four terms or up to nine years, depending on which applies first. Um, I, uh, dislike this because this is more similar to the system that we spent half a year rewriting and throwing out, uh, because we were constantly having problems with it, specifically the three-year term, which was just that we would have board members who would leave a year into their term. And now suddenly, because it's three years, it's like this lopsided thing. Um, but also I was like, oh, they should all just be two years because that makes everything way easier to track. You want everything three years. Okay. Yeah. This is, I, I tried to change as little as possible and that's what's in the bylaws right now. Like, and I was thinking I'm a three year position. So we still oh, have three year position. I will tell you that three years is not in the bylaws right now, or at least it shouldn't be. <laughs> well, I, I have to tell you. <laughs> why don't, why don't I bring up the bylaws for you? <laughs> and we'll uh, maybe, maybe okay maybe i'm i looked at the wrong <laughs> that would be a bad uh so this is for reference this is our version of the bylaws that is the most recent version but it has all our notations on it so it's all the things that we want to change in the future ah <sighs> directors shall be directors shall be elected or appointed to serve up to four terms each term being two years in length 
And then we have the even and odd things. Okay. Yeah, Nothing well, about three years is in there anymore. Uh, we have to we have to find a better place. Oh, I think we should, because I was looking through some of the different bylaws and it's like, oh, the most recent versions of the bylaws are in the folder for last year in the Google Drive. <laughs> and I'm just like, I mean, it is the most recent year that they appear in the Google Drive. Yeah, they should be in the root, if anything. Yeah. And they are dated, which is nice. So yeah. we know like when they were edited, but yeah. Okay, then yeah, let's try to find a bylaw or something like that. Like then I've worked off the, I have no opinion that I don't, like I don't care. <laughs> okay. It's just a question of uh, if everyone is two years, that's fine. Then no. it's, it, 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 it's easy. Um, and the question is just how do you handle transition? Uh, the, the problem with two years is if you have six elected, then you run it, then, then it's three and three, then you have to elect more people. That's true. That's true. And then again, the, the, this is the same problem. How do you transit into the new, new mm. system? So that I have a presentation on. I, it's not really a presentation. I just no, made it's a nice visual. Is, nice I made a visual so everyone can compare what uh, the term structure looks like. So the current ter term structure, as we just talked about, it's two, two years. People, uh, the elected officials start on the odd numbered years. The appointed officials start at even numbered years. And, you know, we just go on until four terms or so. And this is what the board currently looks like. How does transition work in the appointed? Like we have. Well, so here's the thing, right? The if you're talking about transition from the old system to the new system or just transition in terms of like, here's the person who's going to have my my job. I should talk to them. Which which of those things do you mean before? No, I I'm talking about Nola and Ellie. And Nola was the. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the mayoral was, appointee. Was yep. one year and then you, you followed up. Mm -hmm. uh, is it. How how long is the term then? Is it one year or is it two years? Well, that's the thing. So it's a two-year term, but because of the way a student schedule works, a little different than an annual schedule, right? Because they're working off a school calendar. Um, you, you still have a two-year term, but you started sort of halfway through another term. And the way the bylaws are currently written, it says, if you start halfway through a term, you finish that term, but it doesn't change the years that you would be elected, right? So that's why I put a, a little box around this. Whereas, so see how these don't have the line, but this one has the line. This just indicates that like you started halfway through. And then in 2024, you start your next term and hopefully serve the full two years for of it. And I think you're young enough that that will work out and then we won't have weirdness with it, but I could be wrong. Okay. Um, but, uh, but no, you're right. And I was talking to Al a little, little bit about this before the meeting, that that is odd with the student rep because students are on a different schedule, right? And I was thinking about maybe putting something in the bylaws, but then I realized technically student rep is not a position. Mayoral appointee is the position. And then the mayoral appointee, we are just choosing to be a student rep. Now we could change stuff so that there's a official student rep position and then we give them a different election calendar. That would totally make sense. But since technically the mayor could say, oh, instead of electing a student or appointing a student for this next term, I'm going to appoint a different kind of community member. And then it really hurts us. Well, it doesn't really hurt us, but it becomes really weird if we have a special schedule for the mayor appointing, right? Yeah, I wouldn't do that like yeah. it's the yeah. two years. And the like anyway, with the appointed, it it's not that complicated if the person, if the body who appoints this position decides hmm. to skip something in between or to make a jump, we can. It, it happens anyway. Like yeah. It's, it's well, that's yeah. It's a letter in and a letter out. Yeah. It there's totally there's all sorts of instances where a board member in the past, in any kind of board member, has had to leave early or has stepped down for any myriad of reasons. And like I said, now that it's a two-year system, that doesn't bite us as hard as it used to when it was a three-year system. A student will always live mid, mid not necessarily always, but usually leave mid-term because our terms are on the calendar year. Yeah. So it's always going to be the case. Mm -hmm. Well, unless they they're go to school locally and they stay. or like whatever. Unless they're young enough. Well, that's true too. So if they if you're but, in your senior year, if you're in your sophomore year, then you will get through. Well, no, but you'll still leave in the middle of your term though, because your well, term is. Well, you know, I was going to say you can serve at least one full term. You could if they, we bring them on at the right time. That's right. True. So, so I that's so, true. So I get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah. You ruined this whole thing. So so that's why I'm saying I think if we want to keep going with the student route, mm -hmm. it 
maybe the easiest route instead of doing a bylaw and in sort of instead of altering the bylaws is just to be cognizant of the student we're getting is just in the right point in their high school career mm -hmm. so that we won't run into that that Which weirdness awesome. yeah yeah but as there's no process how this appointment happens the mayor has to decide. Yes. And that's it. Yep. So totally. it, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. if it's a two year or a three year, mm -hmm. like it's just a question of yeah. how often do we talk to the mayor yeah. about this? Yeah. So it, it really, and, and the same goes for the school committee. They do what they want and send us some, send someone. Yeah. That was and, another thing I was talking about is theoretically the school committee uh, member could like turn over every year. Oh, well, uh, it just like their election schedule isn't necessarily in sync with our election schedule, yeah. but also someone could just leave the school committee at any time. Yeah. The school committee tends to appoint people who are school committee members. That's how they, that's what they do. Yeah. So, yeah. but it, wh whatever they decide, it's a, yeah. there's no, also, the anyone can leave the board at any time. That's true. So, yeah, no, there's no guarantee. You're not allowed. You can't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jeremy, you're staying. <laughs> uh, okay, so the only other thing uh, I want to talk about that with this is the transitions from the old system to the new system, which is also exemplified in this uh, little little Excel spreadsheet, right? So all of the appointed positions are currently lined up, right, with where they're supposed to be. And Florian, you're lined up for where you're supposed to be by just a miracle of happenstance, because I think you were actually elected during the old system, but the years just happened to match up correctly. So yeah, I'm starting my third year next year. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. The end of 2024. And, yeah. yeah. So because of the year that you were elected, even though you were on the three year thing, your term will rotate on the correct calendar year for an elected official. And then your next term will just be two years instead of three. Okay. Um, but uh, but Jeremy and Melissa, so they are leaving at not technically the right time to fit in with the new system. This is something I talked about at the last meeting and maybe the meeting before, and it's just because the number of years they had served, you know, hit its limit, and they chose to step down instead of staying on an additional year, which is totally their prerogative, right? No problem with that. It just means that technically the people that are coming into those elected positions are coming in halfway through a term in order to get them in sync, as we can see with these dotted lines. But based on this, you would have all six elected positions voted for at the same time? Yes, when we expand the board, yeah. You would? So you only have election every you would prefer to have election every yeah two elections years. would be every two every two years instead of every year because it, that's just when the terms rotate okay <laughs> um i okay i'm not like my thoughts on this are if you have elections every year there's a little bit more activity going on and it, it, sure we can we can bring it out and it's yeah like, Worst case scenario is that six people leave the board, which I, I'm, I assume is not happening. But, right. Uh, and it's a little bit, it, it's a little bit more stable. Mm -hmm. No, I hear what you're saying. Um, having stuff staggered like you're talking about, for the reasons you're talking about, is a good plan. It just does make everything way more complex. Why does appointed and elected position? If elected positions are so random anyway, they have to be staggered and need to take reference to each other. I don't understand your question. <laughs> you, you, you put out nicely this the system here. It's mm -hmm. uh, both terms are two years, and I understand that yeah. the length of the term yep. should be the same, whatever the terms. Sure. Like, yeah. uh, my tendency would be to say there should be longer, so we have less elections. The three years, like everyone is elected for three years or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but it, what is the reason that they need to be oh, starting? Um, it was mostly just for um, to make things easier to track. So it was just like, oh, if you're an appointee person, you know you're um, an even calendar year person, and then you know when your terms are changing. 
And if you're a, and if How you're a, has this worked <laughs> that everyone knows? <laughs> well, that's the thing, right? We it hasn't been very long since we implemented it. We're just. I mean, everything gets thrown out the window because people leave or something happens, and like, right? You know, so like, all of this. If you really wanted to make the the like, this is an excellent visual. Thank you for making it. But the rea our reality of practice is like. <laughs> no, totally right. <laughs> um, uh, which does bring me back to the side point of two-year terms instead of three is why we went with that and is my greatly preferred thing because then it's a little less chaotic it it gives it more elections mean there's more chances for people to step down between terms which we wanted to give them instead of ha, instead of them ha, no, uh, wanting to step down right like that. during a term right um but yeah, no, I mean, the reason why they were staggered was just because I was like, okay, this is a good way to differentiate it and make it really clear I, to everybody. Well, we had the conversation about if, if they were all on the same thing, there could potentially be a massive turnover in board. Yeah. And that would, that would. Um, the, the entire board could change in one year, which would be, uh, I mean, again, highly unlikely, but probably not good. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah. Uh, so what I want to ask though, is because as we're saying here, these two people who are coming in are coming in technically halfway through a term. Um, then I think it's like, it's incumbent on the board after those people to come in, because that means their total number of years that they can serve, right? Because that's their first term is one year instead of two, the total number of years they can serve becomes seven which is one year less than anybody else can serve, which seems a little unfair, right? Because they didn't, they, they didn't uh, exactly choose that scenario. It's kind of being thrust upon. So are people thinking, does it make sense because these people are uh, being put in, in that scenario sort of unfairly that they might be um, offered an additional term and then the offer and then the uh, option to be here for a total of nine years instead of instead of seven, um, or just see what they think and then proceed from there. I don't know what people's thoughts are, like what seems like the most fair. Uh, um, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Okay. But <laughs> well, something, something I just want the board to think about, because again, it feels like a fairness thing to me. I, I'm a little worried about one thing though here. Sure. And that is, when did your term four start? My trip. This is the next thing I was going to get to. <laughs> okay. This, that's the next thing I was going to get to. Okay. Um, so we can talk about that now. Uh, so, oh, yeah. Okay. okay. I don't want to skip over. We can parking lot that and we can talk about the, your first question if you want. Um, you, you, cause you're going to talk about that later. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like the term thing. I feel like if you're asking people, you should have let people know, maybe. I guess it's not a big deal that they're running for one year term. You're saying that they're yeah. the one year term. because since elections aren't that competitive and we're probably expanding the board it's not like they're going to serve for a year and then get bumped out and yeah. be like oh i didn't get the full term yeah. experience it's that in all likelihood they will only be able to serve a total of seven years and seven years. and is that a huge deal well, that's I, I, i'm not sure if i agree with the that with the, the, the back and forth why can't we say if someone is elected to the board, they get a, a two-year term and it starts whenever? Like, what's that? Like, I mean, we could do that, but again, is it the that's... bylaws rewrite doesn't say that that's how it works. So we could change the bylaws to say no, that. No, that, that's why I put in there. Yeah. What is the transition period? How yeah. is implemented? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, is this something? And you, you try to clear it up, and I really appreciate that. I don't know if it's like where is it coming from the confusion and it's basically not looking at the document and knowing when it happened what and as long as we document it properly it doesn't matter if someone like that this knowing that someone only has a one-year term is as much administrative uh, uh, work as writing when someone started with the first term and mm -hmm. that skips the problem of oh they can only do seven years instead of eight so in that case, would it be if someone finished out a term? Yeah. Like, let's say you were elected to the board and you left after a year and I was the person who came in and, and 
replace your position on the board, would I be filling out the your the rest of your term, or would I would no. I my counter get set to zero? And my I'm proposal choose. would be for simplicity reason we note it we note when you start and from there on you get a good term. So if you do that, I would just say make sure you have a way of determining what count says because we we start counting after the election. In other mm -hmm. words, we'll elect people this election cycle. And their term, their year, first year will be 2024. But you may not leave exactly a year into your term. Oh, you may leave the, 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 two the, the months election. into your term. Yeah. And so if you leave two months into your term, you don't have to track people's months. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You want to be able to figure out if you go that route, which I think is actually a pretty cool idea. Yeah, but, no, I'm not. Um, I think you just want to know, like, after... If you're in July, then it means it's a year. Is it from July to July, or is it is it like the is it filling up the odd yeah. odd months and then whatever that is? Yeah, because right so right now the way the bylaws are written, the rule around uh, picking up uh, a term when someone has left is, you know, however long it is, if you serve for a week, right, as yeah. as a place filler for them, that counts as your first term. Mm. Uh, it should be the opposite. It doesn't it should be it doesn't count against you. Yeah, but then well if it happens the that's, other way that's around, fair, but no, it's just a question. What yeah. what what it's is not, the it what, Since, it's our months of meetings is the choice is opposition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our months of meetings decided that's how we were gonna write it. We should make a board game of creating a, mm -hmm. oh, a board. No. Board, board game. game. Board game. Oh. In the end it, it just comes down what's the easiest in, in terms of administration that mm -hmm. we don't do anything wrong. Uh, and then the question is, where do these preferences come from? Is it like, is it does it make sense to have half terms or not? Does it make it complicated or not? I don't know. Um, but now we're going to talk about me, the big okay. problem in the room. Uh, <laughs> so uh, let's see here. I believe actually did we miss to elect you for this Maybe. coming term? Mm, I think that might be the case. That is the case. That is the case. Uh, I feel like I believe that is. Yeah. Uh, well, we actually have two options. Um, because I'm on the old system, I'm turning over this year. This year. Um, which obviously, as we as we all discuss, uh, not when elected officials are supposed to turn over. So, the question becomes: Should my third term be extended into here, and then my fourth term starts in 2025? to put me on the new system? Or should my fourth term be one year? Hmm. Say that? Oh, yeah. So, OK. Should my third, I don't want to edit this doc as well. I guess I could edit the doc. It's just going to take a long time. No, I guess. Like, oh, OK. So should so my if, third, if we extend the third term or? Extend or... the third term, which puts me on track with the new system. Or should my fourth term to put on track with the new system just be one year? So then the election for whoever is replacing me happens on the correct calendar. In, yeah, that's a, uh, Either I, way, it has the same ending, are you saying, though? No, it doesn't. Because no, one of them is term three, one. it's extended, and then you get term four, and you can go to. It's so whether he can serve one more year or three more. Years. Three, that's correct. That's, yeah. that's, that's the question. Yep. However, though we didn't elect, I should go through some votes. Oh. So you weren't elected either, right? So originally, I was appointed. Oh, okay. In 2018, and then I was elected in 20, and then I began serving three. Right. <laughs> was there were there the three versus two back then? Too? Mm -hmm. No. No, it was all three back then. So I got appointed because someone stepped down and I filled their slot, but I think it was the slot of an elected person, which is why I was elected for the following term. I think that's how it works, how it happens. Okay. I don't know how to someone. Don't quote we me. We could probably track that out. Yeah, we, the, yeah. Um, but yeah, so. Like my first comment is, you were elected for a three year term mm -hmm. and it would end now. Yes. How problematic is this? Because it's an elect you were at the term at the time of the was three years. Mm -hmm. I yeah. just extending it feels wrong. Yeah, I can. totally agree. Yeah. yeah. But can we like we would have can we 
<laughs> this like, is the you could vote to expand the board and have one appointed and one elected and then appoint him. <laughs> let's, let's not. So, <laughs> um, but like, but, but I am in the interest of like, okay, assuming that we stay with the thing where it's like the, the calendar year schedule, right? Then we need to have another election. Then, well, no, I mean, we could do right. I don't know if writing is a thing. Can we could we technically still elect you for this term? Is there is there a possibility to get you into this election still? Oh yeah, without right. breaking the rules. About that aspect. Of it. Like to get the votes. Should... So what does it what does it right. say about elections? I don't think we have a write in process. There's no write in process, and also it doesn't meet any of the like notification clauses that we set. Totally. Yeah. Around like uh, when people are like the deadline for being nominated or the nomination process or the hearing on the ballot or I have to say this is a bad oversight. It's, no, it's totally bad. Yeah. <laughs> this is bad. Um, you could so, but uh, all the it looks like all the appointed positions are up as well. Is that right? Is that what you're saying? The appointed positions are also starting a new term in 2024, but they're appointed not like it, so it doesn't. So the conversation. But they're also filled. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because we're having a conversation about people should have been able to vote. Oh, I understand. Yeah. I mean, you, what you can say is, second I would suggest that you. It's already your second year. Yes. <laughs> I would suggest that you, like, um, have another election after this one. Sure. I think that But sense. then no matter what, we we need a new president for the little or for at least a meeting, uh, meeting or two, you need another president. And then you would but then you could <laughs> elect. Yeah. Well if this as we know, if I'm not around, it defaults to you. If it's Dude, you know, I'm not going to yeah, you. <laughs> no, I know. This actually brings me to another thing I was going to talk about. But that Ellie is president. <laughs> Ellie's now president. <laughs> Ellie, congratulations. Um, no, but just that uh, I need. We need to figure out. Well, I guess we're going to figure out it after they come into their positions. Yeah. We need to figure out who the next, who the new VP and who the new board. Yeah, 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 for sure. So, it's kind of like I guess I still don't see the solution to, to figuring you out because it would need to be a point of position, correct? My position. But where, where would the so oh because we're creating two more no we're not well we're we not, haven't voted on that yet so we're day. yeah that's a different you could you could I mean you could also say that um if there's something in the bylaws about the about the failure to elect someone within the time mm. and you could say that um, the board appoints Alex I guess I don't, you have to look at that yeah. and see if it makes sense but like. Because there's like a, I don't know if that. No, word search this way. Okay. Vacancies. Would this be under vacancies, do you think? Yeah. Okay. I think so. Let's look at section six vacancies. <sighs> any vacancy, if the board of directors writing at any time and from any cause, I don't know, covers anything, may be filled uh, for the unexpired term at any meeting of the board of directors by the majority of the directors then in office. Provided, however, that if the vacancy is a directorship, that this is to be filled by the mayor, the school committee, or the cable access board. Advisory. Uh, the director so chosen of by the board to fill the vacancy shall serve only until such time as the mayor, the school committee, or the cable access board, um, uh, as the case may be, this. shall That's have named a new director to fill the, said vacancy. That doesn't help us. But the, the problem is we don't have vacancies because you are out. And we have four candidates, so yeah, no, but that I don't think that works either because you, you didn't say there are three positions open. 
So because of that, I mean, Alex would have probably run, I'm imagining. And so I don't think that that necessarily yeah, we, works We either. say in the in our correspondence, please name of up to two top choices. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that there don't be two decisions open. But hmm. yeah, true. Uh, uh, Oh, it's no, the, uh, a vacancy. I guess the question is whether it's a vacancy. If it's a vacancy, the board can fill it. Because if I am up for re-election, but did not choose to run, technically my seat is being vacated for the beginning of the next calendar year because I didn't choose to run, right? Or the board sense. didn't realize that there was a third. <laughs> well, yes, I mean, yes. Some mental, <laughs> mental gymnastics <laughs> Um, I mean, I think if you have, I think having another election is the most oh totally reasonable yeah because then you're still going through an election process, right? So you yeah, have like a runoff. The problem is, what are the protocols about when we can have an election? We can we can have an election at any time. You could probably vote to have special election. Just vote. Oh, that's true. I I special elections definitely. I mean, cities have special elections. I could ask our lawyer. Well, it's probably yeah. But um, you still need to still still need to be a president, mm. unless you say that like. What what's basically like how I see the timeline at the end of December, terms end, and then the first meeting in January, that then constituted board, which you wouldn't be part of it, to so does the election and they have to decide. What to do? Okay. And it's like that. That and then like it could be. What could be that one of the appointed positions? Uh, I don't know. Steps down and the board like someone in would be an option. I don't know. It, it it's a question of how much time. Or we 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 try to announce the special election in December, then we keep the time short. Yeah. If they, like this makes like. And how problematic is everything we 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 create here for any other thing? I don't know. Yeah, this seems a little weird. It sucks. Uh, this really sucks because we have four potential candidates for positions, right? We're taking two, even though. But we want to take anyway. Old. We want four. to take all of them with expanded seats. So we got to do this. We got to do this bylaws change. Like, the, 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 anyway, the next question, like, we want to extend. How do we extend this officially? Are we electing two people now and then we have to change everything and try to get four people? Do we still have four people then? Oh, I assumed that once we, so before I had looked into myself and the wrench that that throws into it, I had been assuming, okay, we'll, institute this bylaws change a, a within the next calendar year and then it has, starts the next year and then yeah and then it starts the next year which would put them on track for elected positions within the, the current system um if all the appointed seats are also up uh, so no, i mean what we really no, need to my, do my question was out of the election there's an election for what we assume two positions now yeah so yeah. two people are not elected if we have, if we create more positions, do we have to fill them with another election, or is, can we use the people? Like basically, yeah, yeah. I, I understand what you're saying. How, how how do we officially get people into those positions? And if the positions are not existent at this point, nobody's elected. They are not elected, so it's yeah. a, a question if they would run again. Even. Well, that's a question. That's I, mean, a, I think that the board has to decide at that point if you implement the bylaws changes where you expand to nine potentially then the board has to decide what that mechanism is to 
sort of seeding those those other spots. But it seems like if you had another, it seems like it wouldn't by default be that the, the third and fourth place finishers end up with them. No, it wouldn't be default. That doesn't, okay. This is this should be the timeline. It would be we already have an election going right now. We need two candidates. We do that simultaneously. We vote on a bylaws thing to increase the board. That triggers because there's two vacancies on that a special election, and then because of the special election, there's also a special circumstance where you would have to get elected as well. Sure. And then all three of those candidates, you know, in potential candidates Pretty go right. forward. Yeah, you could do that. And so, but we need to jump on that, and we need to. I mean, the plan was expanding the board. Debate about that, blah blah blah. But if it's like we need to expand the board also to have a special election to do all of this stuff to get you back up. Okay, so uh, I we know that bylaws changes need to be submitted for the board to look at a week before they can be voted on. So it'd be like you have to have a bylaws thing like in the next week. And then we call a special meeting to vote on the bylaws thing. There's something in the bylaws about that. Uh, at that so. Within a potentially within a week, we have the bylaws changed. Then we have until the end of the calendar year to run the special election because we can need to want to still give people a month. Mm -hmm. to vote. So luckily, you going on vacation mm -hmm. actually makes this possible because normally we'd be having the annual meeting in December and we'd be having this whole conversation a month later than we're currently having it, mm -hmm. and we would be in much bigger trouble. Mm -hmm. um, but because or you mean we can set everything in motion before the end of the year? Yes. Because we have enough time to we have enough time. Yep. The other thing you could do, this is the last option, and I'm not advocating for any of these, but the appointed positions are all up. That doesn't mean that they're they're filled. It means that they're up for reappointment. That's true. Someone who's a, an appointed could choose to step down and not continue. That is a possibility, yeah. but also there's if you add two seats and one of them's appointed, you could appoint a student rep. That could be Appointed by the board, that could be Ellie, and then the mayor could have an appointment. Yeah. So that's another way. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. I'm just laying out possibilities. I think the cascading effect of actually, you know, voting on a bylaws change to trigger a special election actually works in our favor to get those, our four, to get the four candidates who want to yeah. participate in. Totally. You know? Well, uh, Tim, before. Is he getting up the, the questions or is it towards you? No, you're, you're, that's, 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 oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, you're elect, you're, your term is over. Do you want to continue to be on the board? And the, that's just a, a very basic oh, question. Oh, we should, we, we should just ask that question to everyone. Uh, no, we don't need to ask Mike here or like that. That's not our purview to ask. Mike there. Michael's already. Michael's, Eli is, Michael's not getting rid. You're not going to be appointing someone else. It's very unlikely, but it's not our task. We, Tim is our appointee. And so we have to, uh, like, it's an important question. Do you want to continue? To yeah, Ellie, too. Thing? You're you're continuing as well? Yeah. Yeah, when did this conversation become about us? <laughs> um, yeah. You know what I mean? Y'all was doing it. <laughs> yeah, I mean. So that's, yeah. So, yeah. so that, then we're back to the, the uh, thing. Yeah. Okay. I think that's actually the. It, I don't know if it's. I think that would be the cleaner solution to, to make this change with the appointed position. Oh, well, because the yeah, or we yeah. iron it like the election. To, uh, yeah. Why would that be the cleaner version? Well, it's it's kind of easier for us to implement, but it's less democratic. Yeah. Yeah. I think the best way to do this would be, because in this has, in the scenario that you outlined. It, it's a, a special condition that would would essentially trigger an election. Yeah, no, totally. You know, in the scenario that you're outlining, the there's the possibility that I don't get reelected, which I'm fine. With. I okay, think. can I say something? I think we should appoint an emergency committee to really work on this so we can move the meeting forward. Uh -huh. No, uh, I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Oh, I mean, oh, we're going to have to have a special yeah, meeting anyways. Uh, yeah. So I what? I go out of town and come on for a work trip. And I, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Actually, I mean, we have a quorum right now. I think too, anyways, right? If you had, to, if you had to leave, no, you know. No. So. Well, I think we've mostly wrapped up this this discussion. I think all the points I, are clear. We just have to. Can do we want to vote on which direction we want to do? Either an elected and appointed, or two elected, or actually backing up. Do we want? Do we want to decide? Do we want to do this plan of 
trying to get everything done before the end of the calendar year, which I think we're kind of agreeing that we do want to do, right? Just to check. I, do we need to vote on this? Yeah, like, uh, yes, I'm strongly in favor. Yeah. Like, in terms of contingency, I assume you, then we have to ask you as well, do you want to uh, keep yeah. running? Yes, I will run again. <laughs> and you're interested in the in the position mm -hmm. as president yes. still. So I, in terms of continuing, you see, it would be good to have it before the end of the year. You're right, it's, we still have enough time. Yeah. Um, recommendation by board to draft final bylaws by next week by next week the 21st or proposal for next meeting this would trigger two at least two available board seats and a special election would need to be held do we need to vote on this? No, or just a recommendation. Because we're not actually do we're not voting we're not to, to do anything. We're not implementing it. Um, do we officially have to form a committee to set to I don't know to, to do the bylaws to rewrite? Do, no, I don't think so. I don't think we no. had a. I mean, we have formed them in the past, but that's not it's not necessary. Okay. Um. So I would say, since you've already done a bunch of rewriting. You want to propose the text that says board is expand. Well, you can actually bring it up. That's in there already. Yeah. Propose this text as a change. So you, so. Can we, like, I, I, I'm happy to work on this. Can I have someone else, like, do, we, do you want to do it together that we do it on Zoom and try to write it together? Because this is kind of being done. I will help you. Me, I, will I do don't it. think I will we should. Do We'll do it together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did you okay. Say yeah. yeah. As much as I would be willing to tell the others, I don't think I like I think you shouldn't vote on it. I think you can say I don't know. You sure. can say propose on it. But uh, yeah, okay. okay. I, I just need a second first. Um I think they're done. We just need to Okay, so yeah, two I... years. Are we on two years? Two years? Yeah. Two years. Good. Yeah, it was just that chunk of text that I was saying, like, officially submit that chunk of text. So you're adding two elected positions to the board. I don't think you have to change anything else. Well, anything else in this draft? How you... do we trigger the, the special elections? You vote to have a special election. Yeah. Which would happen at the meeting that happens next week after we vote on the bylaws change. Right? To have the election at the meeting? No, no, no. To we... At the, so at the, you do the bio, you submit that chunk of text officially to us to look at. We have a special meeting a week later, Deserve enough it. time to, to consider the text. Then at that special meeting, we vote to implement the bylaws change. And then after that, we vote, let's organize a special election. And then we choose the dates. So the deadline for the meeting with the vote is end of the month. So we have 30 mm -hmm. days yep, before... yeah until the yeah because you because okay. you want 30 days so, so it would be before the end of the calendar year so i guess it yeah no not the 25th i don't know how dates work so, Happy birthday, so the, the, the end of december is the 31st so, so yeah, the latest you would be able to have that three day period is to start on december 7th if you want to have it the 30 day before. period is for nominations or for what i have or for the election. For the election, right? Isn't that? We well, want nominees too. Well, that's true. Uh, oh, you may shoot. be able to, though, mm. you may not, if you're having a special election, you may be able to, maybe I can talk to you about this too, yeah. but like maybe able to like, a special election could have different rules than the regular election. Yeah. So maybe you shorten up the rules. If you, are you trying to get someone elected before the end of the calendar year? That was the thought process. I mean, I don't think it. You could really also matters. elect them in January. Just January. Yeah. Doesn't matter. That means I rather have I rather have the same elections that we do to yeah, preserve yeah. integrity. Yeah. So then you would just yeah. start a thirty day clock for nominations. Thirty day clock. And then after yeah. you have nominations, you elect another nominating committee. So that would because that would be the same process. You want the same process, mm -hmm. and then you so you have the thirty day window for nominations, same thing, and then you do the election thirty day election. So. And then sometime in late January, you have two more board members. Okay. 
I'd also like to point out that to, just to clarify for anybody that would ever watch me watch this, that these there's a, we were anticipating making these board uh, decisions about expansion of board. Um, they're coming a little faster than expected. Yeah. Um, I and I don't want this to become something that we're doing this for the sake of trying to get somebody in an elected position. You still have to do an election. You still have to go through. We still have to go through all of our bylaws. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So, my proposal here is that we draft these in a week. Um, we've already have it. Let's just finalize that, get it out, have deliberations for X amount of time, bring that before, uh, bring that bylaw change. If that bylaw change is adopted, mm -hmm. uh, which we are anticipating, we would have a special election in which the four at uh, four out of the uh, or two expanded positions would be available and we would be able to address uh, some of the um, discrepancies in the, the election for other positions. Okay. Yep. Good. Great. Well, well spotted. <laughs> Crap. Right. We all have to pay a dollar. Is there? <laughs> I mean, I was go, I was going through it anyway jar. because I knew there was going to be weirdness with the new people coming right. in, and then as I was looking at it, I was like, "Oh, there's a whole other problem in here." Um, <laughs> annual meeting prep, push into an email. Yeah, no, it's fine. Hot chocolate, Rob. Who wrote a hot chocolate, Rob? Did I? Put it? I put it there. Oh. Like I wanted to. Like we, we know, we know who's going to be there. We know there's going to be a booth. Is but we don't know how we sign up for it. Like, is it? Do we need to tell you who is running, or how does it work? Like you said, you had like eight or nine or 10 or something. Yeah, I thought the running thing I already sent out. Did I not send that out? I, I, okay, so maybe I didn't send it out. Let me, I'll, I'll get a look at that tomorrow. We're tonight. Okay. Uh, yeah, I already, in our meeting prep, I already sent out a, a timeline. It's a little bit. Oh, of, yeah, yep. That, I read it. So it's just a question how we don't have, we don't meet before. I, can we shortly look at it? That everyone is on the same page. Um, Sorry tonight. But, I was gonna say we're gonna have an emergency meeting next week. You want to look at that? <laughs> yeah, but it's easier to find a meeting for ten minutes than yeah, if, yeah, yeah, if yeah, we yeah. can. Um, Based on our conversation, that's payback time. You said you would host the meeting. So, really? yeah, you said you're the the MC for the annual meeting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fine. <laughs> what is it? What's that? What's that? Uh. Yeah, no meeting you're talking about. Uh, Annual meeting, that, yeah. that, 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 like just a, a five to ten minute start of the meeting, mm -hmm. welcome by the host. Uh, then president's conversation. I don't know. Like if you want to share some thoughts, like I, yeah. I think it, it, yeah. it was about the getting the, the 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 board out and being active. Then the director's report. Uh, Mary Ellis. Uh, we uh, we shortly talked about her. Like she. Finally, it works out that she would be there, so we just should know what we're doing. Like she get like a bouquet of flowers. I think it's simple, and then we should find a way of, of, I, I don't know. The plaque is, it, it's a little bit cheesy, but it's a nice way of. of Maybe there's just, a decent plaque alternative. <laughs> Something that's like a plaque like, adjacent. I, I I don't feel like we we said thank you Dang. to her when she she when she left. Yeah. Uh. So I don't feel we need to to manage this part very much. I think it's the public acknowledgement and yeah, like, like in this way, yeah. a, a bouquet of flowers. If in the future we want to send her a plaque in the mail, sure, but doesn't need. No, to no, I wouldn't thing. send her a plaque. I would put the the plaque. Oh, at, at, that's at gnome. What I see. Yeah, like I don't think. Well, we could also do that in the future, but yeah, the public acknowledgement at the event, flowers. That's nice. Plaque and gnome. We can send her a nice cheese bus. <laughs> there you go. Uh, fruit basket. Yeah, I was thinking like busts of every every <laughs> honor member at Noma, but uh, like yeah, and this takes five minutes, so it's not. And then mm -hmm. uh, so uh, Q and A and closing remarks, it's pretty straightforward. It's yeah. just the, the the only thing is when the host knows what he's doing, and then if you want to have your right. conversation. Yeah, I think I I was trying to think about what I would say, and the you suggesting it being about the board members being more active and more out there. Uh, it would also great. it would also be is is Dave going uh, Dave is going to be there so that's also a good opportunity yes. to to honor Dave. Oh yeah, we, we, we can think about to, to people. I told Dave he can start letting people know tomorrow. Oh okay, cool. Um, 
Yeah, and like, you know, I don't know. I've thought like press my mind to like was this being recorded. <laughs> the chances of him, yeah, chances of him you know, might be nice. I don't know. I thought about but also from the like yeah, you have a close connection with yes. him, so that's yes. you, you were talking about taking <laughs> out as the board, we can also like he is a valuable member of this of the team. Yeah. So yeah. can we that might be something to put yeah. in there as well. Uh I, I put this up in there and went, okay. But then it's then it's pretty straightforward. We just the people just have to think a little bit about what they are going to say. Good? Yeah, sounds good. I I I I move a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. All those in favor. Uh, uh, <laughs> don't have to change it. Yeah. Good. What was that? <laughs> well. <laughs> Told all these people it's like pick a ball with them at 7 30. <laughs> Whoops. Did you did you record the meeting?